Okay, so hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, again, we're gonna do a lab. We're gonna do a new lab from the Hacking Hub. You can follow along with this lab. It's gonna be so much fun. I really enjoy doing these labs and yeah. So I'm gonna keep continue doing these, these things in combination with, of course, the Hack the Box content where I'm uh, showing all the, all the different modules that I'm clearing the skill assessments and some difficult other exercises what they are uh, providing so that's the goal right now of the channel i still am working on doing some live recon uh, some uh, some live recon on the target and if i find a bug I'm, if i find still bugs I, i'm trying to get to the part i can showcase it to you guys but like i said before that's not easy and i don't have so much time left uh, so the big bounty part is is difficult to combine right now. I'm still doing some uh, non-profit big bounty hunting. I I submitted a big report lately uh, that was uh, it was a bug in HTML injection and an XXS injection over one more than 150 websites. So it was a really fun finding, uh, and I, I I did get a gift. From, uh, from the company who was creating those websites. Uh, so it was really awesome. Like I said, that is like non-bug bounty, non-profit bug bounty hunting. So these targets are not on a bug bounty platform what I was focusing on. But let's dive into today's video. So, uh, okay, so guys, we are ready to go. So for today's challenge, we are gonna do like this one. We're gonna do the Vuln LTD lab of the hacking hub and let's find this one out so i did launch my uh, hub the launch is on my second screen so we get right now is in uh, we get a domain where we can go to and let's already bring that one up for a moment and so we can see maybe what we need to do uh, we need to turn this one off for a moment. Try again. Okay, nice. This one is the website. Let me already launch uh, Pro Pro Burp Suite Professional. I have hurt myself. Like, do you guys see this? <laughs> it's really annoying because it's right when I put my hands down. Every time I need to move with my mouse. It's, it's, it's going back open, so it's keep bleeding, so I need to bandage it later today, but that's for later today. Oh, I also see like my mic was... Okay, this is gonna be better for the mic. So yeah, it's hurt, it's hurting a little. <laughs> but okay, let's dive into this lab right now. So I'm, I'm starting on Burp, uh, and we get like this, oops. We get this website. Let me real quick uh, see this. Do we see something in comment we maybe uh, can use? No, nothing too interesting here. So we have a home and we have a contact form. Okay. So first thing what we wanna do probably is we're gonna copy this path and we're gonna say like go oh, buster there and then uh, you can use uh, uh, you and now we have like this part you can use the the word list provided by the website so you don't need to enumerate like an hour for finding things so first we're gonna do this we have the contact we already see the contact let's also open like uh, go buster Go Buster and uh, DNS, DNS, and on the domain, it's gonna be. Oh, yeah, it's not gonna be HTTP, of course. It's gonna be this is gonna be the domain, and then we need to provide a word list. And that was like, well, uh, subdomains, of course, and we can run this one too. So maybe we find something interesting there. Okay, so we've okay, we have a robots.txt page. Okay, let's. That can be interesting, robots.txt. Okay, and we, we find like 
a secret login. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna first close this. Okay, uh, we did find this secret path. What I'm trying to copy if my mouse is working with me. Okay, and we find our first flag. So I'm gonna grab this flag also for a moment. And I'm gonna validate the flag, captured flag, center flag, submit. Okay, let's go. That was the first flag. Awesome. Uh, then we have burp on. Nope. Let's turn burp suite on for now. And let's also go to this secret page. Okay, that was a flag. That is a bit uh, stupid. So I'm gonna say, let's copy it from here. Copy. Okay, uh, it's really annoying me. <laughs> okay, so we have, uh, we need a username and a passport to log in. Okay, so we can try admin, admin something easy, don't say, okay, can we, oop, do we get, oop, do we get something special? No, nope, not immediately. Okay, let's let's wait a bit and let's first see the scan. So we had this robots.txt. Okay, we also have found the support. Okay, that this looks interesting too. So we're gonna copy selection. So from uh, fuzzing. We found this and that that is of course main domain for a moment just we don't forget these things uh, what well we can I want to go to that support page for a moment that's okay support ticket href could not find the ticket okay do we have something interesting in here the post action and okay now nothing too interesting they can have no. okay what we want to do of course is we want to do the same thing here as we did here so we're gonna just enumerate maybe we can find find something uh but i want to log in of course we have a documentation button okay and uh, install, unzip the install, unzip into your web root, rename the admin folder to something more random and secret. So there's an admin folder. When you first visit the admin page, you're forced to set the admin password. You will also receive a guest password with the username guest. And the passport, and the password will be the day of the week. So first of all, okay. So we have a guest, I think. So we can go back to, oh wait. Once login is you can create new web pages. And, uh, huh. So there also gonna be a Slack part. You can form, okay. Let's, let's, I wanna log in right now, you know, like. So we have a guest user, they say, with, uh, let's try Monday. Nope, we can automate this, but like guest Tuesday. No, okay, that was that was quick. So we did log in. We have a token expired. Uh, so we all have these pages. What if you go guest user cannot edit this page? You see, it was a page two. Let's let's, let's bring this right now to burp. This is the moment we can go for a burp. So we did get a login. Uh, yes, admin, admin, no. Here, get. Admin is false, okay. And user ID is set to two. Maybe we can try to intercept this one and just make, uh, intercept this, intercept that. What if we just reload this page for a moment and we set the admin to, to true? 
forward, center stepped off. And oh, we find another flag. So right now we are administrator. So probably we can now go like, I don't know if I have this one here. Admin. Why is admin here still false? If we can set this one to true and we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna save this. And I wanna go to this contact page. Guest. And it's Tuesday. Huh. I can't log in anymore. Okay, that real quick. Uh, delete every cookie we have. It's gonna be a problem with the cookie. Nope. Guest. And uh, the password was. <laughs> Guest was Tuesday. Tuesday. Did I break something? Like, huh? Uh, let's disable this for a moment and let's just do it the old school way. History, clear recent history. Yep. Okay, let's try one more time. Otherwise, I'm, oh, okay. So I did need to clear a history because I when I changed the cookie that I was an admin, it sent me out of this page. But that's completely fine because we just can easily say from, okay, we're gonna intercept this. So we're gonna keep intercept on. We're gonna look through this contact page. Uh, let's try and find, oh, what is this? Okay, nice. We can see like the, this one. So maybe we can just say, oh, we're gonna delete all this. And uh, let me real quick like look like uh, let's turn this off for a moment. Let's look for PHP uh, channel a shell bum 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 bum. I just want like a one liner, you know, like, yeah. Ah, it's a web shell, of course. Did I say web shell? Yeah, what am I looking for? Uh, like, I'm not very good at PHP. Like, I gotta be honest, I really need to look into that. Uh, but I know there is that awesome one liner. And if we don't find it here, Something like this, you know, like PHP system command. But just to be sure, let's go to Notion, I think. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, it, it is that one, I think, but I wanna have. If we can put it into. Ah, that's really annoying. <laughs> so, but like we can make it. No, I don't want to post. I just want to have the get, and then we can continue building on that. Workshop. It's the execute manual. I think I use that one a lot. I have them, those ready on my on my Mac. <laughs> Just copy paste, and now I'm on the Windows. So, and I know there was one that's really, it's really easy. Just a one liner PHP uh, system, and then command, and then you can enter a command. Uh, maybe I just need to do this by Notion, you know? Like, let's let me really quick uh, CPTS. Types of shells and uh, file transfer shells and payloads. It's gonna be there somewhere. It's bash, python, eva, php, system request. 
command. Copy. Okay. So this is the one. And why I, yeah, it's all gonna be probably the same, but this one works for me. So I like to, to do that. And because we probably need to be admin. So what I'm gonna do is instead of still on, uh, we're gonna update this request by capturing it and changing this to true, of course. Okay, forward. Web service does not have writable access. Okay, all this trouble for nothing. But a great eye opener, I really need to get better at these PHP things. Like, uh, I understand the PHP code, but I'm not great at starting some PHP things. I can develop in t Python, Java, you name it, but PHP I really never, never did. My bad. Okay, but we cannot do this. So all this work was for uh, probably nothing, but we can probably go back and we can go to this one. We have a second one. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, we've dropped Slack for receiving contact. We have dropped Slack for receiving contact from the website. Where we are. Okay, so when this part is ready, but it's not ready because it's still a draft, it's gonna stop using the, the Slack message from the contact form of the uh, ID number two but we're going to use this ticket service. So this ticket service, it's probably going to be this one. So probably we need post email. So measure one of files now. Okay, let's, let's just try, let me open real quick my email. And let me delete everything. In the it's in the Knox email. <laughs> no. And let's try and send send an email to this email. Will it work? Like let's let's just try this one. Like I'm gonna use I'm just gonna open my browser. I'm just gonna just gonna send an email. I'm just gonna send test test. I'm just gonna see what's what's happening. So I did just copy this email address. I opened my personal email from uh, my hacking account and I just send it an email and now I'm waiting to see if something is happening <laughs> okay we did get an email back and I'm gonna open this email I'm gonna close this and I hope the browser won't crash it. like you see we didn't get flag your support ticket has been created you can view it at this one so it's just the support and this is the ID so This is awesome. Uh, so this is the idea. Let, let me real quick go back here. We had this thing here. We can put this one off for a moment. We don't need this intercept right now. So probably it's gonna be like this. Ha! Nice. Okay, now we, that we have like, now we can access this, but first things first, let's go to the email. And let's of course capture a flag and see if this is a valid flag. Yeah, it's the third flag. Uh, I really need to get a bandage. I'm <laughs> getting really annoyed about this because I have this, uh, some kind of thing on my desk and it's really, it prevents you from uh, slipping over things, but it really opens the wound. So I'm, I'm key bleeding here. <laughs> uh, but okay, so that's been done. Let's close this part. Um, let's view the email. <laughs> it's the test. Nice. Can we? Oh, no, I have ID number one, so it's it, this is the unique ID. You can maybe try and brute force this to find some some new IDs, but I think that's not going to be the case in here. You can update the support at any time at emailing. Uh, Hello. Did I take it? 
portal. And we get a hello. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, well, I'm really on uh, equals. Yeah, okay, and we find also an success. <laughs> I don't think we need to do this, but yeah, it's an success. So, <laughs> also really fun. I was thinking like, okay, maybe you can even pull something extra out of this and we just pull the next success from the ability also uh, but I don't think we can use it but this is interesting because we have an email address right now and what can we do with this email address like well we found an email uh, email address only oh, we, we have have an email. email okay this is the email Let's go back to, to, to this page for a moment and let's review this. So we cannot do anything writable because we don't have permissions to write in this directory. So we cannot create pages, edit pages, delete pages, like all, all these things are not possible. We have a token expired here. So all these pages don't do anything. Ah, oh, but we didn't click like, oh, maybe this works too. Like, uh, my name is Krista. Uh, let's send to my uh, email, nox.renathorats.com and test to it. Maybe we did even receive just the email by doing this. Like, oh no, this was still using the Slack. Yeah, yeah sorry, wow. I'm really going off here. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to Slack. Let's <laughs> copy this, please. <laughs> okay, let's go to Slack. Do I still have like a uh, burp on? Nope, I think that's really... I Because probably in a moment we are out of options. Oh, it's React. And, uh, and we need some burp locks. Okay, sign in to Vuln LT. Sign in with the email. Can we? Nope, that was not the email, Christoph. This is the email. Do we have an account? Can we maybe ask a password reset or something? Sign in with a password instead. So we have an email. Okay. Okay, nothing is happening here. Uh, the login for Okay, so we send it. So it sends. Let's go back. We probably don't have an account, I think. I think, yeah, let's try this one. Oops. Maybe we just need to create this account, like. Continue. Next, confirming email we sent. Okay, did we now receive an email? No, refresh. Okay, we know we did get an email, nice. Uh, it was just the redirect, I think. Hello, once you confirmed your email address, you will be the nearest member of the Slack, okay. Confirm my email address. Ah, oh, this is the email, wow, sorry. That was the email address. Okay, uh, okay my name is Noxie. 
Ah, ça c'est quand t'as new. Ok, I think we have a slack now, but do we have a... Do we have access to the group? Uh, can close that one. <coughs> Meet channels where the magic happens. Okay, I know Slack, so I can do this one by myself, I think. I think the root is broken, so I'm going to fix it. Sure. We have an admin. Oh, did you see that? Oh, I did see a flag. Wait. Oh, uh, we have a flag. Okay, I cannot copy. Of, of course we cannot copy the flag. Who do you think I am? <laughs> let's copy the flag. And let's deliver the flag. Are we still on track? Like, in order? Yes, this is flag number four. So we're still following the structure of this page. <laughs> so that's awesome. Uh, let's close this. Okay, we found like this little thing in here, so we can maybe uh, uh, Slack. We have Slack accounts. Okay, let's real quick look to these messages, maybe Benjamin. Can we like create a message? General. Can we say something to general? No, I cannot say something general. Ah. Set Coco. Okay, like this probably all gonna be like, yeah, you users also trying to do this. Like, yeah, it's not gonna be too interesting. Let's try and send. Hello. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> no. Okay, so that was really, really sad. So we have browse all channels or different channels. We have joined this channel. So there's nothing more here, I think, personally. This is just a Slack, so we're not gonna... Uh, it's gonna be... Browse all people, create new... Can we create something? Not sure, so it'll kind of... Can we add channel? Nope. Okay, like, let's stop playing here. Let's go back to, did I copy that one? Yes. Let's check this one out for now. Let's close the Slack things and let's go to this one. Okay, so we have Firelli, Pirelli, Edge, ADSL, Router. Uh, maybe guest and Tuesday. Tuesday. Nope. Uh, let's try one more, and then we're gonna. Okay, no, that's not gonna be it. Like, uh, we can try some more default credentials, but maybe we need to just look this one up for now. So I'm gonna turn this one off for a moment. I'm just gonna look for this. Uh. So we have a user and admin micro business. Okay, let's try this. Ah, nice. That was fun. Like the first Google search is gonna give you default credentials. I didn't even like type I needed default credentials. I just giving the router and I just immediately get like default credentials. Love it. Uh, let's paste like uh, creds. For a moment because it's gonna be admin and uh, ooh, admin and I did copy 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 go okay let's copy this one, one more time micro businesses copy and micro business okay we have another flag of course because we're just so fucking good <laughs> I, I really enjoy these rooms like it is like Okay, these one are, are maybe just a little bit for now too easy, but like I said, we're just gonna follow a bit uh, 
I'm gonna follow along. I wanna complete as I wanna complete all of them eventually. But we're gonna start slow and building up our pace. Uh, and I'm still learning things. Like for an example, I think these things are just good to learn, to to dig deeper and to take a little notes because like I said, these boxes are created so are a little bit straightforward but when you get stuck you can start enumerating a lot of things like we can poke in the in in the slack we can poke in the tickets uh, we can like yeah but let's continue doing this uh nothing 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 okay we we did download something okay we were scanning that okay like no problem like let's just go back like uh, to downloads and then we're gonna say it was something with bag up I think Oop. wow yeah I'm blind so you guys know I'm really blind it's like ah rotor config back okay this is the thing we're looking for Okay, let's get the rotor config back. Let's okay. Let's just drop this one in uh, gbt.io. Let's make this one. Oops. Uh, I, I accept the rules. Let's paste this one and let's see what we have. So we have ADSL. We have username, password. We have an IP, subnet, firewall, active admin, micro business. Ha. Huh? We already have this one, websites true, it's intranet, basic auth, internet, and we have a flag. Wow, okay. So let me real quick look because this is a config bag, but let's first give this thing the flag. Okay, so we did give it the flag. And what I now don't really understand is we have Because we are right here. We did click this and the only thing we can do now is log out. We are right now in the maintenance area. Like. What we can try to do. we can try to do is we can capture this uh, let me really quick look back to the token so we have a username for the ADSL but right now we are in this website part like is this a path intranet this is the root of config so it's gonna be here like intranet is it okay so, okay so we need a username and a password we have the username and the password internet let's just copy the password i can type internet i promise internet Ooh, almost <laughs> and let's sign in don't save lock to files we have a passport and <laughs> We have a passport. <laughs> okay, uh, that was, I was too happy, too fast. Maybe we can use this passport. Oh, no, 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 don't paste. Come on back. Okay, uh, copy. And let's close this noise and log in. Okay, we have this passport. Please. No, we have Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday is not gonna work anymore. It's, it's something whole different, but I mean, we can try, we can try. Build an internet file down on face of block. Okay, we're gonna need, uh, let's try some SQL injection. Nope. 
Okay, I'm gonna need burp right now. Uh, so let's go to... Let's try and find these things. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna resend this page. And we're going to burp. HTTP history. Wait, we need to scroll way down. Okay, so what we did was... What I want to see is, I want to go to the intranet page first. Okay, this is the, the first page that we did get. So this is the intranet page. Okay, this is, we get a token. Okay, that's, mm, yeah. And then we do another get. Okay, so we go to the intranet and the intranet is gonna say, oh, that's, Let's expand this. Can I even like for a moment? Let's go to settings. Let's go to user interface display. Let's make this even bigger, you know, like so you guys can read everything. Oh, this is not getting bigger. Like, okay, that's not, no, that's no fun at all. Uh, let's make this 14 again then. Okay, no problem. Because this you can all read. So, it's going to the index.php and it's gonna ask for a page and the page is gonna be home.html. And in here, like you see, we get security, module for including page templates. Okay, make sure the URL ends in .html. So, Let's make this for a moment. So we need access to admin that PFP. So maybe we can do admin that php dot html but there are more rules replace any character that are not the following and get page so we cannot use anything else than lowercase a to z higher case a to z from z uh, every number and a dot okay Filter out index.php for security in get. And it's gonna filter out index.php and admin.php for security in get. Okay. I think we can probably do something with this. So I'm gonna send this one to the repeater right now. And I'm gonna send that again to the repeater, like just for having fun purposes. Um, so I can keep seeing the rules easy here and then this one we can play. So it's going for, let's say we wanna have admin.php.html, what I first said. Can we like follow redirections? But follow redirections always. Send this one for a moment. It's not gonna redirect you to anything. Okay, this, this is not doing anything. Let's let's try just admin.html. Like let's try index. Like, am I doing something wrong here? Uh, give me a moment. Let's say here I'm gonna change this one to admin.html. I'm doing a get request here, yeah? okay? And it's it's giving a page not found, okay? And what what, what was it? Index HTML, page not found, home HTML. What was the base? Ah, okay. So when we when we do this, 
index HTML, it's page not found. Okay, when we do this, we get mm, we get redirected. Ha! So when we use PHP, we got redirected. Okay, so we can play with this. So page not found is something good because we're not getting redirected. So when I do admin, I want to see this page not found. Send. So the page is not found. Let me see, I get a message. So, but we need the PHP value. So what we can try is we can try PH, uh, admin. Admin. It's deleting admin.php. So maybe we need to do admin. Uh, I really need to think this one through, you know, like, so I'm gonna check this. Okay, so we're back because everything just was gone because I get, did get a message. <laughs> okay, but we're still figuring this out. So we need access to there. So what I wanna do is we need filter out admin. So it's filtering out admin.php. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type admin, admin, and we're gonna say dot php dot php dot html something like this okay it's still looking for a page do we maybe want to <coughs> end this here okay this is a bad request okay it's something different uh, but we uh, want to close this part <coughs> I think something more maybe like this, like, let's try this. Oh, nice. This was the flag. <laughs> okay, like, what, what did we do is like, of course, it's filtering admin, the first admin, deleted. But we have a second admin, not checking for that one probably. But it sees PHP, that PHP. Oh no, sorry, I'm, I'm telling it all wrong, sorry. It's gonna filter this admin, that PHP. Well, I was telling it wrong. So it's gonna delete that admin, that PHP. Boop. And then, because deleting that one, these other two, it's gonna stick together. Then we have admin, that PHP. But, it needs to read also, it needs to end with .html. But we just commented the .html out. The only thing, what I was thinking here is replace the characters. Replace any characters that are not in the following age. Yeah, why it's, it's commenting is, uh, ah yeah, so it cannot read it anymore. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Why, how did I find this? Like I was, I was just thinking like about how it will filter. And then I was thinking maybe we need to comment something out. And I first commented something out right here. And when you do that, you will see nothing special is happening. And that's why I was thinking like, what am I probably, what am I doing? Because like, I need, I need the uh, I need admin.php. I don't need admin.php.html. So there needs to be a way to comment the HTML out of this, but it needs to be in the text. And to be honest, I didn't thought this this would be working because but I was just trying because I thought it would be get filtered out, but it doesn't. 
and the nice thing here is like I said we have we're deleting this admin that PHP so this one is going to get deleted by by the filter and when we and when the filter deletes this we have a new admin that PHP and we can visit the page and so when we do this let me control Z so we have this back and we enter this you can see the length gets really big so we just found a flag maybe I mm, let me just deliver the flag first and yay and when we don't know let's just check this one out in browser request in browser original session let's go to here do we still have burp on yes of course uh, let's watch this And like you see what, what, what we did do is we just did get a page by manipulating the request URL. Um, so I think this was a really fun box. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I, I am thinking maybe uh, there are some more boxes of the same level, but I was thinking maybe we need to do the other one just a little little level higher to have some more fun but i really love doing these these things so i hope i see you guys in the next video and yeah bye <laughs>